So night one at Linkwasha camp in Wange and I have had the most adventurous night you can imagine. See behind me a herd of elephants. There are baboons hanging around and I had all these guys outside my tent last night. I must say that it was a little bit disorientating to hear the sound of flapping ears and the rustling of leaves and thinking that you are under attack and World War 3 is upon you. But actually as you start to absorb the sounds of nature as we have there. It really is a spectacle, so for anyone thinking about breaking the norm, breaking away from city life, you want to get a taste of this, being at one with nature, in the savannah, surrounded by baboons, elephants, and goodness knows what else sits beyond the landscape you see right now. So dramatic, I can't. You saw so two solid hours, the king of the jungle encircled my tent, spraying its territory and warding off other animals. I, the intruder in its territory, feeling the need to curl up into a fetal position to cover my head with my duvet and pray for forgiveness for sins committed and sins to be committed. Praying that should I survive this night, I shall become a better human being. I shall do more for the environment, more for fellow mankind. I shall be better. I shall do more if I will just survive. And then of course the temptation to blow that vuvuzela they give you for cases of emergency. Was this an emergency? I felt yes. Would I be a wimp for blowing it? I felt yes. So I resorted to silence, a dark tent and no sudden movements. I live to tell the tale of my night in the wild where it was just me and that majestic beast you see behind me.